Welcome to the first in a series of informational videos brought to you by Grady's Great Outdoors. Grady's Great Outdoors has been known for over 50 years as an excellent source for optics for every application. Check us out at Grady'sOutdoors.com. Tom Perry here. In the next couple of minutes, I would like to provide some basic information that will be helpful in choosing the right binocular for your needs. Whether you're a bird watcher, a hunter, a sports enthusiast, or you just love the great outdoors. If you're in the Anderson, South Carolina area, we invite you to visit us at 3440 Clemson Boulevard to check out our store and allow our staff to assist you with your needs. In the meantime, allow me to give a brief description of features that will help you choose the right binocular without getting too technical. There are two general types of binoculars. The first is poroprism. The style is wider, with objective lenses offset from the eyepieces, giving a better sensation of depth because of how the image is inverted. Poroprisms generally give brighter images than roof prisms because roof prisms have silvered coatings that reduce transmission 12 to 15 percent. The second style is the roof prism. This style is more narrow and more compact because the objective lenses are generally in line with the eyepieces. Roof prisms are generally more expensive because tolerances are tighter. They're typically lighter in weight. There are many features that come into play when choosing binoculars depending on your application. Magnification. A larger magnification brings the appearance of the image closer but results in a smaller field of view. Objective lens. The larger the objective lens, the more light that can enter the unit. For example, an 8x40 will take in more light than an 8x25. Also, the exit pupil, the amount of light leaving the eyepiece, will be greater in the 8x40 than the 8x25. Even though the human eye can only take in a maximum of 7 millimeters of light, it's easier to find the image with a larger exit pupil. It helps at night when the pupils are dilated. Field of view. Field of view defines the width of vision one can see at a distance. It's a function of magnification because the higher the magnification, the smaller the field of view. I really, because there is a unique distance from the eye to the binocular where none of the image is blackened, eye cups are important, especially to people who wear eyeglasses. There are other considerations, focus, any reflective coatings and so forth, but at Grady's we can help you to select the right binocular for your needs, whether you want to spend $20 or $1,000. Again, my name is Tom Perry, and I invite you to come into Grady's at 3440 Clemson Boulevard, Anderson, South Carolina, or online at Grady'sOutdoors.com. See you soon, and remember, at Grady's, we sell adventure.